All right, so today we are testing the RX 5700 XT in Hogwarts Legacy. All right, so uh, we'll be testing at 1080p, 1440p, and uh, not 4K. Uh, I just want to show you the graphical settings at the moment. Uh, we're sitting at uh, 1080p, no upscaling, TAA is set too high, and uh, I just got the motion blur and all that kind of stuff turned off. And uh, currently we're on the ultra preset sorry about that so ultra preset and obviously this gpu does not support ray tracing right so let's get right to it right we're just uh, starting our frames per second counter there and you can see that we are almost getting 60 frames per second right so this is on uh, 1080p ultra so it is quite intensive uh, even on high-end systems on not 1080p but the ultra preset at least uh, you can see then the top left hand corner we've got our uh, gpu temperature usage then we've got vram allocation and vram usage as well as well as the uh, power draw our cpu that we're using for today is a 12 400 F, and that is paired with the DDR4 3200 megahertz CL16 memory. It does seem that since my last video, the frame time consistency has improved a bit. Um, I just remember going into these uh, buildings, uh, the frame time graphs would uh, become extremely inconsistent and uh, a lot of stuttering would occur. Right, so in this area here, we're getting 100 frames per second, but uh, don't let that get your hopes up. Uh, outside, the frame rate drops by around uh, 40 percent right so you can see from 90 frames per second down to 50 frames per second so it's almost a, a 50 percent uh, frame rate drop but then again this is on ultra and uh, it is pretty intensive right so we've got uh, what i wanted to share then top left hand corner is we've got vram allocated and then we've got vram usage now this is an 8 gigabyte uh, vram gpu and you can see that 1080p ultra we are using around uh, 6 gigabytes of vram all right so let's see what we need to do to get 60 frames per second consistently right i think we're just going to go down to the high preset i think uh, that should do it for us uh, as i said the ultra is uh, pretty uh, intensive all right at 1080p high it seems like we might be able to maintain 60 frames per second we're cutting it close we're around uh, uh it drops unfortunately but uh i think overall this should be a pretty good experience i mean the 5700 xt is quite an old gpu at this time uh quite old architecture it was uh, uh the first rdna gpu or well it comes from the first rdna uh, series and you can see that it's uh doing pretty okay right especially in this area getting another uh, getting around 100 frames per second again and the game just crashed right and we're back the game just crashed uh, as i went through that uh, door there i don't know what it is uh, this is the latest amd adrenaline 24 dot something drivers it happened on the 6900 xt as well uh, it would just uh, crash to desktop but it's not a full pc reboot or anything it literally just crashes to desktop with no error message uh, let's see if it happens again so uh, i had to restart the game and uh, it had to recompile shaders again which is pretty annoying uh, there's still a lot of things that uh, this game needs to work on uh, performance and stability just being two of them but uh, with ray tracing, if you do have an RT capable card, uh, that's completely broken at this point in time. Reflections just look terrible. Just the three of the many issues, right? But it seemed like we were able to at least almost maintain 60 frames per second at all times with the high preset. And I think that's pretty much where I'd uh, play this game if I had this uh, GPU. And uh, I mean, the input latency is not that important for a game like Hogwarts Legacy. As long as you get 60 frames per second, Second, the experience should be pretty good all right but let's see what happens once we lower it down to medium all right we're now on the medium preset uh, let's see i'm aiming for around uh, 75 to 80 frames per second yeah let's just get our numbers going there uh, okay it seems like we might have uh, gained uh, quite a few frames per second there more than i expected i mean it is uh, it's running at around 85 frames per second which is pretty good uh, the detail level is not as great you can see in the textures of the grass the foliage even his uh, cloak seems to be quite a, a lot less uh, detail but i mean that's to be expected to be running at uh, medium but uh, the game still looks pretty okay i mean this is not the best looking game out there but uh, it's far from the worst looking as well all right so let's uh, see if uh, we get our crash again 
And now you can see that the frame time graph misbehaves a bit. Uh, it seems like the higher the frame rate, the more inconsistent it becomes in this specific area. And we managed to hit 160 frames per second there. Uh, pretty impressive. Right, uh, so I think uh, you should just half your frame rate, uh, what you get inside. So inside getting 160, outside getting around uh, 80 to 90. Right, but this is a this is a pretty good experience. I'm not uh, disappointed with this at all. Remember the 5700 XT uh, came out in 2019, I believe 2019, and uh, it was uh, supposed to compete with the 1080 Ti, which launched like two years before that. But here we are in 2023, and it's still capable of playing games at 1080p pretty well. All right, so uh, let's go back to the quality preset and uh, let's start playing with FSR. Right, we're now on the Ultra preset and uh, let's just go down here to FSR. So this game supports all kinds of uh, upscaling. Uh, DLSS does not show you because this is not an, a DLSS capable GPU. But let's go with the FSR and we'll start off with the quality. And let's see if we can hit that 60 frames per second on the Ultra preset. It seems like we are getting more or less the same frame rate as what we had at high. Maybe slightly lower, maybe slightly higher at some point. Uh, I think this is pretty good. You can see that the the VRAM usage is also still in that uh, 6 gigabyte. What I did see is that the VRAM usage seems to flush out. So it, it climbs and climbs and then it just uh, falls down. This was actually, or oh, I actually noticed this... Uh, after one of the more recent patches where I saw that the VRAM would creep up, creep up, and then it just will fall down, right? And uh, apparently one of the patch notes uh, said that they addressed the VRAM usage. So I don't think it's really addressing the, the total VRAM usage. It's just, I think they flush the VRAM more frequently. But then again, I'm no programmer, developer. I've got no idea how they do these things. All right, so at uh, 1080p quality with FSR on quality, this seems to be a pretty good experience. I'm sure you might see some additional shimmering like in the trees there, but if you're aiming for pretty good looking graphics and uh, 60 frames per second, then quality and uh, FSR quality seems to be the way to go, yeah. All right, I'm just going to drop it down to high. Let's see what the performance differences is, and then we'll move on to 1440p. All right, we're now on the high preset, still with the FSR quality, and we we gained around uh, 10 to 15 to 20 percent at times. Uh, this still looks uh, pretty good. Once again, ultra gaming, especially when you have uh, older hardware, I'd avoid it. High gives you a good enough looking game uh, without the additional overheads of ultra, right? And here we go again. Um, Right, and we're back, and suddenly we're getting 200 frames per second. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on with this game. Uh, the game crashed, it uh, restarted, and now we're back to like, a, well, now we're back to 80 frames per second. Uh, it seems to be something specific to this area. As soon as we go through this door, it just, uh, I don't think it likes it very much. I'm not sure if maybe because of the frame rate fluctuation something goes uh, wrong maybe the the voltage of the gpu uh, drops too quickly or climbs too quickly uh, i've got no idea why it's crashing the as i said the 6900 xt did it as well whilst i was recording now i'm recording using a capture card so i'm not recording on the local machine either so this is uh, pretty strange maybe it's a driver related issue as i said uh, i've installed the latest 24 adrenaline software can't remember the exact uh, version number but it's the the latest one at the time of recording uh, so it might be just a driver issue or it's just the game that is uh, still pretty broken all right so that was it at uh, 1080p with the high preset and fsr set to quality and uh, as i said i think um if you want a higher than 60 frames per second experience then you can definitely uh, play with this otherwise just uh, stick to 1080p native with the high preset all right let's see what happens at 1440p Right, we're back and now we're at uh, 1440p and uh, inside where we were getting around 200 frames per second uh, previously, we are now getting around 70 frames per second. Right, uh, we are also back on the ultra preset, so it's 1440p ultra. I'm not going to be opening that door anymore. It's just uh, so dumb that it just keeps on crashing. But outside you can see we're getting mm, in the high 30s, uh, low 40s. 
depending in which direction the wind blows. So um, 1440p ultra, maybe not your best bet unless you are aiming for 30 frames per second, right? Uh, I don't, I'm not going to be spending too much time on 1440p ultra just because uh, at 1080p ultra we were not able to hit 60 frames per second either so um, this is just uh, not worth it to me all right but it does look pretty good at 1440p let's uh move down to the high preset right we're now at 1440p high uh, i don't think we'll be hitting uh 60 frames per second purely because we were not really able to uh do it at uh, 1440p or 1080p sorry and uh i mean it's uh it's pretty close it's uh, almost a 60 frames per second experience there. So you can just see that the, the grass looks a, a lot nicer uh, on the high preset than it does on medium. Uh, now, I'm not going to be opening this door, as I said. Let's just run to here, see what the highest frame rate is. Uh, around 90 frames per second, right? I'll be I'll open the door uh, with my last run just to see if it crashes again. It's definitely not uh, CPU. Uh, temperature related not uh, gpu temperature related even though the gpu is running a little bit hot it's 72 degrees it's not the end of the world uh, these gpus can take a lot more than that and as i said it's an older rx uh, 5700 xt and uh, these are uh, performed pretty much uh, within this range here all right so at uh, 1440p high we had an average of 58 almost close um, almost 60 frames per second but you can see that uh, depending on where you are in the game uh, the frame rate fluctuates quite a bit all right let's see what happens at uh, 1440p medium all right we're now on the medium preset and i think we should be able to get 60 frames per second now albeit with the lower visual quality all right uh, let's just get our numbers going here and yeah i think we should be able to maintain close to a permanent 60 frames per second and i think yeah we should be able to i think it's pretty good uh once again you can just see that the grass detail it, it's a little bit uh, more blurry there's definitely a lot less detail in the foliage as i said the game still looks pretty okay uh there are a lot worse looking games at uh, medium and uh this is definitely playable but i would uh, i would maybe play at uh, 1440p high with the uh, fsr so that's the setting that we'll be testing soon but as you can see outside here, getting around 70 frames per second, well, in the high 60s, the low 70s, and uh, that is pretty good. This is a very demanding area to actually test. Uh, Hogsmeade is another demanding area, but that's that's a lot more CPU uh, demanding, so that's why I prefer to test here, as this is pretty GPU bound uh, in most cases. All right, so we had an average frame rate of around uh, 72. I say around 72 because uh, it does depend on where you are and where you are looking. All right, so let's see uh, once we start enabling FSR. All right, we're back to the quality preset, 1440p quality, and uh, FSR is now also set to quality. All right, so getting around 50 frames per second. Uh, as I said, you don't really need anything higher than 60 frames per second for this game. And uh, if you do have a variable refresh rate monitor, then even 50 frames per second would be good enough. Um, I play this uh, mostly with the controller. You know, when I do benchmarks, I, I just uh, use a keyboard or mouse. But when I do play this game, I played with the controller and uh, input latency is then not as noticeable. So you can go down a little bit in frame rate without it bothering your gameplay too much. Right, uh, I just wanted to see what it does at uh, Ultra. It looks pretty good, but uh, let's see if we can hit 60 frames per second if we drop down to high. All right, we're now on the high preset, uh, still on FSR quality. And I must say, this is pretty impressive at 1440p, getting around uh, 60 frames per second with the FSR quality on the high preset, all right? Uh, for such an old uh, GPU, I mean, it's not really that old in terms of years, but in terms of generations, it's uh, it's pretty far behind, right? It's uh, This is RDNA 1, we're already sitting with the RDNA 3, and uh, also with the RTX uh, 40 series, right? And this was competing with the GTX 10 series. But all in all, if you can find a GP like this for quite cheap, uh, it's definitely still worth considering. It uh, performs almost the same as an 
RX 6600 XT. The 6600 XT matches it at uh, 1080p, but uh, it does pull away a bit at 1440p and 4K. But one thing that the RX 6600 XT has is a ray tracing, right? So it's not always usable, but uh, simpler implementations of ray tracing work pretty well with uh, the 6600 XT, especially when it comes to uh, FSR as well. All right, so uh, that's going to be it for this video. Before you close this video, uh, I'm going to be walking through the door again to see if it crashes. Uh, but uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, we hope to see you in the next one. And it didn't crash. <laughs>